אושיו שלום I wanted to share something with you I want to just read a, a, little, a few passages of, of scripture and, and I'm going to try to comment it's really hard in 10 minutes I mean to say what you to get everything out but uh, I'm going to try okay uh, here in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and right now I'm currently using the NIV but uh, if you got your new King James uh, King James version you know just follow right along okay all right here we go <laughs> uh, on verse 6 on chapter 11 of Hebrews and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. And see a lot of people they get mad at God because they don't get something. They prayed for something, you know, and in 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 the one's uh, instance okay uh, it's usually something selfish on their part and because God didn't answer it and God don't exist it's like a spoiled kid you know if the parent don't give what the kid demands then the parent ain't no good in their eyes you know well that's the way us humans are towards God and uh, and the thing is it's kind of like the old thing, just because you say it so, don't make it so, you know, because you stomp and rave and rant and, 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 and carry on, it don't really make it so. I mean, but what does it say? Let me read it again. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Do you know what faith means? Trust. I mean, the simplest way to describe trust is faith and faith trust. I mean, you know what faith means. Uh, I mean, we trust somebody. That's having faith in them. And he says, And without faith it is impossible to believe God because anyone who comes to Him, it's when you come to God, must, it says, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. And that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Okay, I mean, this should be pretty much self-evidence. It don't really need a whole lot of explanations right there. So, I mean, if you're not getting what you want, you know, you got to be questioning about your, 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 your faith, your, your trust in him. And then for those who said, well, I prayed for, uh, you know, so-and-so, and they never got healed. Well, I'll tell you. And in and, and either one of these answers, you'll probably not be happy because you're just not happy with your life or you're not happy with situations. You're a grumbler. You're a complainer. You just find nothing good in anything. So, but if you're in that category, let me, but still let me just say, all right, when it comes to praying to God to heal people, I've seen God heal people. I've seen God do miraculous things. I've experienced miraculous healings. I've seen others receive miraculous healings. And I've seen some who didn't get healed. Why? Well, you won't like either one of them, but it's, it's still a truth. Well, one, we just read the one reason why, okay? The other is simple, like, look at the man that was blind, that was born blind. Well, the apostles, the disciples that was with Jesus, said, so asked him, said, Lord, who did, uh, you know, who sinned? This man or his, his, is it mother and his father? And was it his parents' fault because he was born blind? But what did Jesus, Yeshua, said about it? 
Had no, he said it had nothing to do with it. It was simple. It had nothing to do with it. Okay? And, you know, I guess that puzzled them. But, he, but Jesus continued and he said to them, he said, this was done for the, for the glory of God. See, God can use, choose many things to work his, uh, things for His glory, but the problem is, is you want things now. You want it in your own time frame. Look at Lazarus. Jesus could have went uh, the, the day that he was sick and stopped him from being, but he didn't. He could have... You know, he could have maybe uh, waited a, a day, not just one more day. You know, after we got the message about Lazarus being sick, but he waited four days. Well, you know, well he waited with the news. Once he got the news, he he waited uh, another day or so, and he went. But you can read the story for yourself. But see, even though he was what we would say four days late, he was right on time. He was right on schedule. And also, what also prevents it is things that, there's other factors, things that uh, we're doing. I mean, you know, for one, if we're unbelieving, okay, or we're trying to s snap it up, saying, hurry up, Jesus, right now, on my time schedule. I'm not on yours, you're on mine. That'll never get it done, okay? The other is, sometimes it has to be something now, I didn't say all the time, do not ever say I said that, because that would be a lie. It is sometimes pending. It can be something you're not doing for the Lord. In other words, you're not being obedient to God. Or another way is say is, or you could be being disobedient. There's so many factors on different reasons, but those are, are like the main reasons why. See, but anything else you're going to have to take up with the Lord, but usually people who want to nitpick, they always find something wrong. But anyway, uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter... Uh, let's see, that's chapter 4, verse 5 and verse 6. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Okay, and one more verse. Uh, it's in James. James chapter 1. The very last uh, verses there on verse 26 we'll start okay. verse 26 and 27 if anyone considers himself religious and yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue he deceives himself and his religion is worthless religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless as this to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world and a certain person, a sister and something or another there, had brought up, you know, something which we all know that religion kills. And the people, and it tells you what true religion is, okay? I just read that. And what does it say in here uh, in Corinthians? It says, For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. Or another way to put it, as your slaves. So about religion, don't put faith in religion. Okay? Well, I just read some important scriptures, and I wanted to make it known what the, the Bible says about religion and, and our things of our own making. So I'm just kind of hitting on different little things there. So I wanted to share that with you, and I and that's, that's my piece. So shalom, walk in His light. And may God bless you and all that you do, and may you live for Him. Aho.